Originally, we, were, uh, we met up uh, during our uh, year studying in the Reykjavik College of Music and we got together in a string quartet and liked it really much playing together so we played classical music and then as we uh, did some more work together we, we started doing some studio sessions for other bands or bands in, I in Iceland in Reykjavik recording some strings on pop music and as we kind of established ourselves as a working string quartet we uh, wanted a name and came up with this name Anima. It was in 2002 or 3 we decided that Anima was uh, part of the classical uh, past of us so we wanted a new name so we switched the letters into Amina with one eye at the time and that's our name and we've kept that but we added one eye somewhere along the way. really start making our own stuff until 2004 so we had five years of working with Sigurus to maybe adjust to the idea that you don't really have to play music from sheets. I think we are actually really influenced by by our classical upbringing and in, in making music. I think uh, I think uh, being with Sigurus for such a long time we Maybe it opened something up for us because we had always just played classical music and not made it ourselves. And being in this environment, this creative environment, we wanted to try things out on our own. But uh, I think we still went a little bit back to you know, our, our roots. And I think that's more where we are coming from than from rock and roll. And we like birds and bird sounds and just the feeling of the name. Originally we wanted to have um, birds on the photo shoot for the cover art and we wanted to have live birds so we uh, were experimenting with uh, what kind of food they wanted because we wanted to attract them to the to the place where we would shoot and try and you know, catch a lot of birds eating or doing whatever at the, at the scene but then um, None came and, and we had to use stuffed ones instead. Kur was, I think it describes us, or what, our way of thinking quite well. Sometimes, um, when we're putting together songs, it takes time to kind of put it all together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle sometimes. 
because uh, if we're taking in a new instrument and and you're you know you really want to do a part on that instrument that's kind of complicated, then you have to kind of learn the instrument, fit it with all the others, and and it's kind of always a challenge. You know, every new song is a new challenge for a band uh, because of the instrumentation, and sometimes it's a bit complicated just to play it together. So um, it is in a way crafted, and I guess you know our way for example of rehearsing is not the rock and roll way either it's not like oh. we're just like all right go from this place to this place and oh, oh no this was wrong so we still have that kind of um, um, disciplined way of working since we were um, classical musicians as well so there is a lot of craftsmanship in the way we work as well in the classical world, you have so many rules. Everything is about rules, doing it exactly this way. And we have been enjoying the freedom of you know, not doing it by the rules, the classical rules. Working on, on the album, we had the feeling that it was just all over the place, and n none of the songs was, would actually fit together. But it, yeah, it did come as a surprise when we when we got everything together and, and saw it as a whole that it actually works, and and they actually speak together, you know, within themselves. So it was actually it was nice you know, because we, we were slightly worried. Try to make happy songs, but they always go in, in this melancholy direction. And we've often tried to not do it, but um, I think we're just suckers for melancholy in our hearts. It's just what comes out. I, you know, I had no idea what what our music would sound like, and I, I had, I didn't have any preference. You know, we just started, and this is what came out and now we sort of know our sound and maybe you know try to push it to certain directions. singing in front of anyone. I only sing on stage because I make myself do it. It's actually a shame not to use them because we always have this problem of, of having too too many layers and, and we only have two hands and, and two feet and there's you know a limit to to what we actually can do and not to use this instrument is kind of silly so so we're we're uh, we're absolutely trying to but it's it's just taking a bit of time. <laughs> 